so today, welcome to another episode of Slurp From Scratch. I am here with a special guest. Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm Brenda's little brother. Today! Today! What are we gonna do today? Pasta. Pasta. So, Daniel has been uh, sort of bugging me to like learn cooking from me. And I recently like obtained a pasta machine and I really like making my own pasta. Thought it would be fun to sort of walk through this. You might have seen like the tiramisu video. It's kind of similar but I sort of know because I've done it before. Without further ado, we're just gonna start out by assembling this pasta machine. This is the pasta machine, in case you didn't already know. This is a clamp. This goes here. It's okay, a which rank, part wrench. goes in front? Okay, so here's how you set up a pasta machine. Mabu got this on Carousel for like $30 because it was like second hand. But then also she was the one that set up, so I don't really know how to set up. Oh, you gotta unscrew it all the way to the bottom first. That's basic workshop knowledge 101. Clearly, you don't know what you're doing. Alright, then you do this, right? Let it sit there and then just tighten this clamp. You don't want the pasta machine to be like too far into the middle or because you want you want access to both sides and you also want to put the wrench in this way so that the gears can turn and everything and then later uh -huh. you can change it here and here according to like what size you want your pasta cut into. Now we actually go to the making of the pasta which is surprisingly quite simple. You just need like a lot of time and a lot of like Eggs. manual labour. Would you like to do the honours? Alright, level it. Do it slowly, do it slowly. Okay. And then just dump it on the table in a mound. Excuse me, quiet on set. <laughs> Daniel, gently! But it looks like oh my piece, god, right? my speed cuts! Uh, it's okay, okay. Okay, you do the other one, fine. This is a Capricorn and a Leo making pasta. I just got plain flour. Like, you can get all-purpose flour, you can get like semolina flour. You can get like double A, but I find that it's, it works lah. So we've made it once before, and uh, not with Daniel, I've made it once before. And it was really really good, like it's very different from dried pasta. And honestly, the ingredients that you need to create pasta is just eggs and flour. And even if you don't have like a pasta machine, you can always use a rolling pin. It'll just take a while longer and it's like, you can tell all the qualities. Don't you need to cut but, the pasta? Yeah, you can cut it with your knife, what? Eh? Oh. Did you do it correctly? Yeah, just trust put me. Put it on the what mound you... on the mountain. That's right. Okay, okay. Great. Okay, so that's a very good mound. Good job. So right now, you take a fork. You only start using your hands like after it becomes uh, more workable because right now it will be too sticky and tacky. In this mound, you create a well. Oh. So you want the well all the way to the bottom where you can see the surface that you're working on. Yeah, make sure that the eggs have a space to sort of sit in. I'm gonna crack the eggs in here before I plop it in because if there's an eggshell, like, it's gonna be really annoying. But I'm just gonna crack one. Another one egg. One egg. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, shit! Daniel, you know It's not, not my fault! Place. You never made a well in your you know how to separate eggs? Yeah. No. Whoa. <laughs> Never mind. It's okay. Then you know what? Keep that in the fridge. We're gonna make scrambled eggs later. Yeah. Oh my god! This looks ridiculous. Okay, maybe you should do it. Maybe you should do this. This is a little complicated. I will. Uh, I'm gonna do it. That. I'm just gonna do it. This is, you never make the mountain queen, ah? <laughs> See, perfect yolk. Plop, uh, beat it up, beat it up first. Da okay, okay, well, okay, I'm okay, beating, okay. I'm beating, I'm beating. Okay, Daniel, you have to slowly combine it. That was the plan! Because all of these are gonna become lumps in your pasta. You want lumps? Get out if you want lumps. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we've moved the camera so that you can see better. This disaster up close. So you're supposed to take this and supposed to do this. Yeah, I got it. Daniel, I really don't think you do. I look away from one second. You're like Noel, man. Chill, I look away from man. one second and he poops. Chill. I poop. Noel, no. Now you're naughty, but he looks so excited. Look at his face. My sister cares more about the dog and she cares about me. Don't tell her I said this. It's true. <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay. 
You wanna try? You're supposed to like do it in a circle as you slowly combine. You make sure that all of these flour bits are combined into the mixture yeah, before man. adding more. You know or no? Yeah, I, I know. Good job. Add a bit more flour. So like, when you swirl, you're supposed <laughs> That works too. So, what's, what's up with you, man? I've been good. I've been good. How have you been? How have I been? So he just finished his A-levels and today we're joined by um, my new intern. You want to say hi? Like, yeah, so Ernie just finished her O's also. So what's up with you kids and exams, huh? How's life? Exams, How's life yeah. after exams? Peaceful. Nice. Yeah. You agree? She says yes. Noel! Noel was just like... <laughs> Looking around the floor for like crumbs. This dog. Daniel! Oh, the Daniel. <laughs> you see? She came me like the dog. I just make a pasta. I just make a pasta. Yeah, add more, add more. Pasta. Okay, go, go, go. Like having a dog is so funny. Like, oh, he's not mine by the way. I'm dog sitting. His name is Jonathan. I hate the name Jonathan. <laughs> I think Every it's, Jonathan I, think it's I know hilarious. Is, a, is a piece of shit. If okay, your name Jonathan, is Justin, Jonathan. you need to get the fuck away, right? <laughs> Have you ever met a nice Justin or Jonathan? No, right? Blech. This is not how you should be making fresh pasta. It's not how it should look like. I will show you a photo of how it should look like. <laughs> Just believe. I don't think you believe enough. Yeah. Oh, it's getting really hard to... Oh my. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you want actually. You switch to your hands when it's too hard to sort of mold it, but right now it'll be too tacky for you to fold with your hands. Don't do that, Daniel! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I really, I'm, so, I'm very nervous. I wanna, be, I, wanna be, I wanna be funny today. He's it, been on these videos. Oh, you not like, okay, remember the wig video? Could you close your eyes before you come in? Are you gonna experience something? No, no, no. Okay, open your eyes. Hey, what the <laughs> shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you've been on here before. Don't be shy. If I'm not funny, I'm never coming back. Actually, I think I can start working it already. Mm. Would you like to work it? Yes, I would. Okay, and then you start scraping up the sides. If those that are like super, super like messy that cannot combine, it's just not gonna happen for them. That's right, that's right. Good job, Daniel. Okay, knead it in, knead it in. Try to add more flour. So you just like take the remaining and sort of push it with the yes. heel of your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, my turn. Okay, go Let's for it, go for it. Hands. See, it's supposed to combine but cannot because we wasted some of the egg. I'm just trying to get. <laughs> I didn't bring an extra shirt by the way. This is just. Oh! This is what I got. Oh no! Yeah, and I should just have. It's just like it's black, right? They're very easy to. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> this you is my house. <laughs> like, I can kick you out, I can change. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the power in the world, don't you? <laughs> that's right, that's right. But try not to break it, so just keep on working it. Basically, you want pasta to be well kneaded. And you want to properly flour your hands and the surface that you're working on so the pasta doesn't stick. Okay, if it's very, very, very hard, if you're not pretending, you can add a little bit of water. A little bit. Uh, you can take from the blue jug. No, 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 take distilled water, buddy. Take distilled water. The one that's just boiled. Okay, that's more than enough. It's so warm. Oh, oh, gross! Yeah, so it gets a little bit more slimy and workable, but that's what you want, right? Yep. We will have to work it for maybe like 15 to 20 minutes to really get it good. <laughs> we might do a time lapse of this. This is incredibly boring. Hey, so what happened to you, Maki? So, I... context, right? Context. I went to visit my family for dinner, like, on Saturday. And then he was, like, ready to head our out. brother's birthday. Yeah, it was, like, to celebrate our elder brother's birthday. And then I was like, where the hell are you going? Because he kept asking me to come back quickly because he needs to leave. Then he was like, oh, I'm really? going out. Then after that, my mom was like, so late. Go out where? Then after that, he was like, oh, to the club. Then I was like, to the club. And then he asked like, which club? And then he was like, Marquee. And I was like, man, I Marquee? ain't even been to Marquee before. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of that environment. It's not really my kind of scene. So I was really hesitant on going initially. But my friend was like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Because I'm a good friend, I agreed to go with him. Huh? When we got there, it was all old people. It, it's true. Like old people all, like my age like, or like... I saw like a group that looked like they were around Cuckoo's age. 
50. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the Ferris wheel? There's a Ferris wheel. I did. I How was got it? on the Ferris wheel. So Ferris wheel is so boring. Did you dance with any girls? Did you like dance with any other guys perhaps? Like be friendly? Okay, so dancing is a bit of an exaggeration, right? It's a very like generous term to use. Because there's there's no space. So all you gotta do is like this. And like if you wanna dance, you gotta like, keep your arms close to you. This like huge ass guy is my friend by the way. This guy my friend is freaking huge. He he works out. So okay. like he's got muscle and shit. And then is he's that like, why you've been working out? Because you've been with this yeah, friend? Yeah, he told he me to go work out. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, he's having a great time, right? But I'm in the back, just like... <laughs> Put your hands up. I'm trying, <laughs> man! Was like, he like, bro. slamming into you? No, no, he was just like... I think because people at the front also were like, you know, backing it up a little bit. Oh my god! And then I'm like... Bro, <laughs> no space! No space! So here is the very smooth bar ado. Okay, you're gonna oh, wow. want to put it in a bowl and cover it with cling wrap. Yeah. Test by pressing your knuckle into the dough. You wanna try? If it bounces back, it's ready. If, it's, if it doesn't, then it's not. Oh, it's ready! It bounces back! Well, well, well. Good job. Okay, so it has been a little bit over half an hour actually because uh, Daniel took a nap and we took the dog out to pee. Okay, wait, 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 sorry, why do you first say Daniel took a nap? Like, that's the main reason we stopped working. I took a nap. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> and so the dough is ready. We've oh. also cleaned up the area, so why not you open it? See, oh, we should have dusted it. I totally forgot to dust it. So I guess now you all know that you should flour this. But it's okay, I'll just get it off. No biggie. Okay lah, not bad, right? You can remove quite a lot of it. Now that we are here, you're just gonna knead it a couple more times. Oh. Okay, make sure that the surface is decently flat. And then, what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna separate it. This one is for six servings, meaning it's best if we cut them into thirds. Just make a firm... Incision? Yes, that's correct. Nice, nicely done. Scalpel. <laughs> okay. So right now, this, just put it through the pasta roller and we've set it to the lowest setting possible. So your thingy will come out a little bit more chunky because you don't want to do too thin too quickly. You want to work towards it. If not, you'll break, you'll like jam, it'll be weird. So as you can see, it comes out like this. You want to fold it into thirds. And do it again. And then you insert it like this, so it presses in. Yep. Yep, yeah. good. Okay, good. I'm catching it. Nicely done. And then you fold it in one more time. This essentially like toughens up the layers and it creates a more like homogeneous dough. Okay, so now it's time to turn it up. One, two, so three, yeah. So, try it. Turn it up. Okay. Next one, you wanna turn it? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Turn up the knob. Turn it up. One by one, ah. Huh? Very important to do it one by one, don't skip. I skip. You skip me? Like, by one. Daniel, that's why it's breaking. Did you actually skip? Look yeah, at it, maybe. look at it, it's puckering. Mm. Didn't I just tell you not to skip? I skipped it when we were at like one. I skipped it at three. What? Daniel, that's why it's pulling apart. You're not supposed to skip. Mm. Look at it. Okay, then let's do, this, do it again. This is such a simple instruction, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to like, do this again. If this sucks, this is the one that you're eating. <laughs> Alright, so you want to be able to see your fingers through it. This is at 8, we can usually do 9, but 9 from my experience is a bit too thin. So you can choose whether you want thinner like pasta noodle or you want linguine? Which one do you want to do? The final one. Okay. Ta-da! You want to loosen it up on the plate, just put it in a little bundle. 
flour it. Make sure that it separates. You can just always add a little bit more flour. At this point, flour doesn't hurt anyone. This would be one serving of pasta. Cool. I'm probably gonna need two of that. My turn, I guess. <laughs> See what a difference makes when you go one by one and you do it slowly and surely. Look, this is linguine! This is linguine! You try again. It's okay. It's your first time. It's fine. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit harsh because I just think you're deliberately trying to screw up. Are you? No, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. So we have six servings here, give or take lah, huh? With normal like um, dried pasta that you find in stores, it takes like usually 10 minutes to boil. Fresh pasta like this takes like 2-3 minutes to be done. So we are gonna make like very simple aglio olio today. And I'm gonna like saute some prawns afterwards to go with. So let's boil some water. Now we're moving on to the cooking part. Let's salt the water, take some table salt. Just sort of like dump a reasonable amount. So you see, we're gonna boil already. It's damn fast, huh, no? And especially because we want it al dente, because we wanna do put all the stuff in. Okay, put it in. Okay, the whole thing. No, slowly, buddy. Because if you put it in one lump, it will be one lump. Yes, that's right. Wow. Just keep it rolling. Oh, it's really, it's cooking damn fast, eh? Mm hmm. I didn't know when it's done. Best way is just to try it, just to taste it. Not hot, uh. It is ah. Uh. It's quite good actually, Daniel. Not bad. Oh, cool. But That's it good. does taste remarkably like banyan. <laughs> but do you know that Italians actually took the idea of noodles from China? Oh. So the cool, original, cool, cool, cool. the OG like noodle makers were Chinese people. Nice, good job, China. So we're gonna keep some of the starchy water because you never know, starchy water is good. Daniel's gonna mince some of the garlic, and I'm gonna wash and clean the prawns. How many cloves are? Uh? Uh, let's go with like five. Who cares? I like my stuff garlicky. You yeah, like it garlicky? Yeah, yeah. Honey, you like it garlicky? Good. Everyone likes it garlicky. <music> this is what our cooked pasta looks like right now. Two, two, two. I'm gonna do a quick little taste test. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, it's al dente. You wanna try? Yep. Okay. Right? Pretty good, right? Very eggy. Once the pan is a little bit heated up, I'm gonna throw in some olive oil. So you want it on like a medium low heat so it immediately doesn't burn. Chips. But it'll get fragrant really, really fast. Very quickly, once this browns, we're gonna drop the linguine in. Okay, I'm gonna do the... Ah! Okay, the minced garlic is starting to burn a little bit brown already. Put in your prawns. And this is when you can season your stuff. So, I'm gonna do something very simple. Uh, a little bit of salt and pepper, I guess. Because we're doing like Western, right? Yeah, yeah. I usually do fusion, so immediately I think of like oh, honey, mm -hmm. miso, fish sauce, table salt, some garlic powder, and actually, you can put a little bit of basil. Start flipping them. Okay. Add a bit of the pasta water. So you wanna... You do, you do, you do. Okay, so the parts that don't cook, put it towards the center. Oh, that makes sense because the center yeah. is hot, hot. And what you can do is to help steam it. I don't have a cover for this pan, so we're just using another one. It's fine. Oh, it smells damn good. Should I put in the noodles? Yep, go for it. So you wanna toss it straight away. Add a little bit more olive oil. Yeah, that's right. Toss the noodles. These are noodle tongs. So I have some red chili flakes. Just a little bit for colour and a bit of flavour. Oh, that's not a little bit. Yeah. Hey, but it's a lot of noodles. So just mix it in. This is a very non-traditional. We're just making our own. Cool. Cool, right? It looks better. Uh, it's gonna overcook. Okay, yeah. Turn it down. 
And then just keep tossing it. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Nice! I think you stopped it at a good time, Daniel. Okay, let's play it up. Woohoo! So we're here. It's golden hour right now. So, you know, there's a weird lighting situation. But here is our pasta. It's like aglio olio but with shrimp and with basil and with spring onions. It's a bit japalang lah, okay? Home cooks, that's what we do. Taste test, taste test. Ready? I'm excited. Oh, I'm like... I'm a bit more modest with my servings, <laughs> yeah. Mmm. 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 It's good. Yeah, turn out. Better than I was expecting. Like, adding more oil was a good idea because otherwise it would be like too... A bit dry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there's no sauces like other than just the olive oil. Kind of wish we had a bigger serving of this. Hey, let's try the prawn. Mm. Mmm, it's so fresh. I bought it an hour before we started filming. Wow, it's really good. I did half the work for you by cutting the, the skin. Yes, thanks. Oh, you want to try? Try it, try it, it's okay. Good. She's nodding. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. I can't handle spice at all, but this is just... It's like nice and warm. Mm. Alright, so we're going to continue eating. But thank you so much for joining us. We hope you found it interesting, helpful, or just plain chaotic. That's fine too. This is actually really good. So if you want to recreate it, like you totally can. Like I said, if you don't have a pasta machine, you can order one on Lazada. It takes like a month to ship, but like it's like $30 to $50. Go on to Carousel, see if anyone's selling it. Or if not, just use a rolling pin. And then use a knife to cut. So yeah, thank you so much Daniel for joining on. Him and his Leo energy all over the place. Voila. Voila. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to see Daniel some more, if you want to see us try other recipes, let us know. He's very interested in cooking. And do you have anything else to say to the camera? Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Do you say that? <laughs> I, I do say that, but I, I say I don't watch your like... videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. I make new videos every week. And I will see you next week. Pew pew pew! Bye! You're damn awkward. Loosen up. Right? I know! <laughs> loosen up, loosen up. Oh damn. Oh, if I'm not funny, I'm never coming back. Uh, if you're the one who's ever to come yeah. back, just let him know. <laughs> yes? You want something? Use your words. <laughs> Use your words. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the thumbs up. Now you messed up my mantra. <laughs>